Hi, it's Hillary with Tempo Cells, and today I just thought I'd do a little quick video and show you uh, one of my backdrops. I have so many backdrops and uh, photo props and whatnot, and I'm just never pleased with any of them. Um, but this one is, is kind of working out pretty well so far. Um, what I have is a four by six piece of vinyl, um, like barn wood floor uh, that I got off of eBay for like $6. That works well sometimes, but sometimes with things that are pink, it puts a weird cast on things. So um, yeah, I'm not 100% on board with that. I have a piece of white uh, presentation board uh, that works well. Um, I have a white uh, light box or a light box with a white uh, little backdrop and a, and a black one. And the problem with that is it just got really dusty, really gross, really fast. Um, and what else do I have? I have a white comforter. I used that for a long time. I also use our uh, entryway floor, which is a dark wood. I have also used our patio, which is like a rough uh, wood texture, which looks really good with jeans, I think. But I kind of want something that is um, more unifying. So I I'm still not completely thrilled with everything. <laughs> um, I think I just might have to uh, spend the big bucks and get myself a nice large backdrop that works for everything and is uh, appropriately lit, litable, lightable. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you have been on Instagram for a minute, um, you have probably seen the um, replica surfaces, uh, L-shaped backdrop, uh, and it looks really great. Um, you get multiple surfaces. Um, uh, I think you get a total of four surfaces if you order uh, the basic kit and it's like $75. And I'm super cheap and did not want to spend $75. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And so I thought, you know what? I can probably make that. So uh, the first thing I knew I had to find was the brackets because the brackets are like L-shaped brackets, but there's, there's a groove so that the the board can slide into the groove and then it's just freestanding. Um, and it says on the, the, the site that the um, boards are 23 by 23. So uh, I went uh, looking online to see if I could find these brackets that would sit into the groove and I could not find them. And so I thought, well, maybe I miss saw what they look like. So I went back to the site to see what they would look like. And lo and behold, uh, something I didn't notice, you can order just the brackets for 17 bucks, two brackets, $17. So that is what I did. And then I went to Home Depot. And for about $8, I got a 23 by 23 piece of white beadboard and a 23 by 23 uh, MDF. Uh, then on Etsy, uh, for, I found a shop that had vinyl backdrops in size 24 by 24 and they were selling, uh, having a sale and I think it was four for 20. It might have been four for 30. I'm not sure. Um, and I picked up four of those. So for the price of $45, I have a nice backdrop and it might have been 55. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. Okay, here's the beadboard, which you can see is already getting dirty. And I really, I don't drag anything on it. Um, I just, you know, I have a shoe, I place the shoe, I take the photo. So I don't know why it's getting like dragged dirt on it, but um, <clears throat> here's the bonus, it's paintable. And um, then on the backdrop here, I have the marble. Uh, I wish I could remember the name of the shop right, right offhand. I should have looked that up. But I have the marble, um, but it's over the MDF. And I've also taped some um, scrapbook paper here. So if there's something that I want that's white that I want a little more colorful, I can go ahead and do that. And I just lay that there. And so that is backdrop number one. Here is backdrop number two. It's the concrete. And you would have thought like I was picking out, you know, 
my di my diamond tiara or something from a coronation or whatever uh, because it took me literally like uh, three days, four shops, and I probably would have gotten something else, but I went back to go to the shop and they had taken a vacation. So I was like, oh, oh well. Um, I also wanted something with some color to it. Uh, and I thought that looks nice. Yeah, that, you know, it's a, it's a nice rustic sort of look. And then I wanted a dark wood to look like a dark wooden like picnic table not necessarily a floor but it's bumpy because they've been sitting and folded but uh yeah so i haven't used these two yet basically all i've used are the, the concrete um and the marble and i have switched them and put the marble on here and this is vinyl so if anything spills on here, I can wipe it off. Um, it's pretty tough. And once I lay it flat uh, for a bit, um, all the creases come out. And um, I'm also gonna show you. Here are the brackets. And you can see that, oh, knocked my light over, that everything just sits in the groove. And um, I just took the brackets to um, Home Depot and wandered around and, and uh, slid the um, MDF into the brackets. It was, it turned out to be a one eighth size um, width that worked the best, but even then it's, it's kind of a snug fit but that's fine. And if you decide to do the same thing yourself, I would recommend that you go in an off time because they don't like doing these small cuts of MDF and beadboard. And by the way, I got the beadboard from the scrap heap. Um, and that's another place to look. And if you can do your own cuts, excellent. Uh, you can just get the scrap heap scrap board and uh, cut it yourself. But they cut it for me and the guy was like, oh, well, you know, we're not supposed to cut like this size, but he did it anyway, cause he is a lovely person. And now I have a backdrop that works well for all different kinds of things. Uh, I was gonna put all different kinds of things in front of it. Oh, here we go. So uh, that takes a nice photo. Um, I can pull back like this and then I can crop the photo or I can come in. It also gives me this angle, which I don't normally have because everything I had was like too short. And I had thought about putting like a piece of, um, oh, I don't know what that board is that goes, uh, is it not beadboard? Uh, you know, the little runner. I thought about getting a piece of that and just tucking that back in there, but um, I think this is fine. It just looks like where, you know, the cement meets the marble or whatever. And uh, I'm happy. So uh, basically that's my uh, lovely new backdrop and uh, easy peasy. Took a, you know, waiting in the mail for things to come and, and uh, a little time uh, beating feet in Home Depot. So I, I think uh, I think I got uh, some lovely options. It, it cost me, you know, in the end, it only it only ended up saving me like probably 30 bucks, maybe. Um, and I still might order my glasses are dirty. <laughs> I still might order the replica surfaces boards because they have some patterns that I really do like. Um, and, um, this is stable. I did have it on the kitchen counter to test it. It is stable and it does stay, um, L shaped, you know, the, the thing. So that's nice. Um, but if you have alternative, uh, backdrops, um, uh, go ahead and mention them in the comments because I will probably not even like this in six weeks or so. Uh, just like I have everything else. When I got that, uh, uh, four by six, uh, barnwood flooring, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. It was like, this is the best thing ever. And now it's like, I barely use it because it's like, ugh. 
you know, it tints things wrong. I don't know. Now it just annoys me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm always looking for, for a nice new backdrop and, uh, I will put links to everything below and, uh, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're selling lots of stuff and go ahead and, uh, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can go ahead and hit the thumbs down. I don't mind. I'm grown. I can handle it. And uh, leave a comment, uh, share, and uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, Tempo Sells, if you like reseller content. And if you really like it, I would like to uh, challenge you to put a ring on it by clicking the bell. That way you will be notified every time I have a new video. And until the next time, peace out.